Dear Lauren, we're about to get married. This day, our lives are going to change forever and we will become one. Honestly, I'm pretty nervous, but I'm ready. I'm so excited to be your husband and to lead our home through Christ's example. I'm praying that God will bless us in our marriage. These past six months have really flown by. It felt like yesterday I was on one knee in the happiest place on earth asking you to marry me. It feels like just the day before that we were at Renaissance Festival together as friends. Little did those two know they were going to spend the rest of our lives together. Camera action when I step into the limelight Easily adapted to the high life Dress to impress like it's prime night And when you live in top shelf You know you gotta set the bar high Had the same dreams since we was kids Big gyms, big cars, and even bigger cribs Never thought that it would happen just the way it did Fast forward that now, it's just the way we live Let's go food and drinks My mood makes you think that this life's made for a king the room starts to shake, so smooth if you blink You might just miss the whole thing It's just a different way to move within the high life So many different things to do within the high life Let's go food and drinks, but who makes you think That this life's made for a king So many different things to do within the high Lauren, I love you. Even when I don't feel it, I will choose to love you. I will choose to love you on days when life feels tough, when money's tight, when our children are screaming, and when we're just plain exhausted. You are my world, and I'll do everything to protect that. I know I don't have all the answers, and I won't expect you to either. I vow that when I don't know all the answers, I will pray and seek godly counsel from those around us, and, we'll, and with that, I will put God first in our marriage and follow Him as He leads us. I also vow to get us a dog and, <laughs> and to watch Fixer Upper with you when I don't want to. I vow to take us on adventures, whether they be in our backyard or across the world. But most importantly, I vow to stand by your side, even when it's hard, and to lead our home as your husband and protector. I vow to always love you. Andrew, a wise, friend, a wise friend once told me to place your name in 1 Corinthians 13, 47. So. Andrew is patient and kind. Andrew does not envy or boast and isn't arrogant or rude. Andrew doesn't insist on his own way, isn't irritable, resentful, and doesn't rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Andrew always protects, trusts, hopes, and perseveres. Ever since I've met you at 14 and loved you since 18, I've always found a future of you. I'm blessed and thankful that God has beautifully bonded together. And as we begin our journey today, together as husband and wife, I promise to honor, trust, and submit myself to you and everything else to the Lord. During your circumstance and year, I promise to remain constant in my commitment to you. I promise to hope and believe in all things in you and for you, turning your eyes always to Jesus who gave us one another. Lastly, I promise to love you and support you from this day forward, better for worse, richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, and to cherish you as we Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, God, for Andrew and Juan. Thank you for the covenant that they have made with one another. Thank you for the vows that they've taken, the rings that they've exchanged, and thank you that you are in covenant with them. This is a holy matrimony. I speak blessing over their family. I speak blessing over their marriage and their relationship. I bless them. I bless their finances in the name of Jesus. I bless their future children. In the name of Jesus, I bless all of their relationships. I bless their future and I bless the calling of God on them individually and as a married couple. I speak the blessing and the favor of God over this now union in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Now that you, Andrew and Lauren, have consented together in the holy covenant of marriage by giving and receiving rings in the presence of God and all present, in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you man and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. You may kiss your bride.
ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Hendricks. Our wedding day is finally here. In just a few hours, we'll be husband and wife for life. It's crazy that I'll be marrying my high school sweetheart. I'm so excited to marry you. I love you so much. You're my best friend, and there's no one else I'd want to grow old with other than you. For as long as I can remember, I've prayed for a husband who loves and serves God with all his heart. You are the answer to my prayers, and I love that you go above and beyond. You are an amazing man of God who listens to me, encourages me, and challenges me to be a better person every day. I'm so excited to do life with you, continue serving Jesus with you, have endless adventures, start a family, and grow old together. I have found the one whom my soul loves, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with my best friend. I shiteru long. That means I love you in Japanese. When your legs don't work like they used to before and I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I will be loving you Till we're 70 And baby, my could still fall as hard at 23 And I'm thinking about how people fall in love in a mysterious way Maybe just the touch of a hand Well me Honey